waiting game, mate. So good morning, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Cocklebiddy. Currently waiting to see if the nice guy inside has got the right cable to charge my laptop. If he does, all of our problems are solved. If he doesn't, we're in trouble. Today's ride slightly shorter. We've got 200 k's in that direction. Uh, cross headwind, so not a block headwind, which is nice. And apparently halfway through, there's a descent, which is unheard of. What's a descent? I don't know. Madrabilla is our final location. Madura is the place for the descent in. Uh, apparently there's an airport there as well. So that's about 100 k's in. So the resupplies are actually spread out really nicely today. Isn't there any flies this morning? Our boys have got our backs, mate. I know there's quite a bit for this. YouTube. Beautiful. Okay, teeth in, tummies in. You both we'll exchange London. our details. Yeah, we live in London. Yeah. If you guys are ever in town. Oh, yeah, we, we are in April. And we My niece is uh, getting married. There. We're going to a wedding. quite believe our luck. We were sat outside the uh, motel just there. The guy inside was working on a solution, trying to find a plug for my laptop. So we could have split all of our USBs from there and charged up bike computers and stuff. Just by chance, this couple, Chris and Ian, stopped, got chatting to us because they were cyclists. And lo and behold, they had a plug adapter. We now are fully functional again. Hopefully I can get back to my edit schedule. We've got an easy day tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to catch up with everything. But yeah, Chris and Ian, thank you so much. So it's a proper crosswind today. Like, we're doing our best to squeeze into the little shoulder of like the bike lane, and get in each other's draft as much as possible, but it is quite difficult, especially when you're checking behind for trucks and that sort of thing. We don't want to be seen to be riding two abreast, but it's all right. We're keeping compact and it seems to be making enough of a difference. People checking if we're all right, that's nice. It's actually quite nice when you get overtaken by trucks because they give you a real boost. They cause currents in the wind and you just fly for about 10 seconds, which is really good, as long as they're not too close. How are you feeling? I'll get better as the day goes on. I'm, still, I not, I'm never good in the morning, as you know. People don't really, probably don't see that, but I'm never like particularly good in the morning. I'm always really sluggish. Drinking Coke, eating sweets. Look at this. Coke diluted with water, it's not quite as nice, but better for the hydration, mate. That's what we needed. <laughs> Straight on here. Oh, cheers, mate. Good to know. That's how long we've been on this road how long I've needed a piss for. So because we were waiting around a little bit this morning, we, um, we'd eaten breakfast quite early and then started the ride a couple of hours later. So we're in a bit of a calorie deficit. We need to, um, we're stopping now, getting some food in 40 k's away from the actual lunch stop. And then uh, and we'll have another refuel when we get there. All going okay though. Uh, it's the first hour or hour and a half of every ride. Legs are just bucked. So they finally started to kick in and now the ache goes away and they just become dead instead, which is a million times better. Oh yeah, so you don't get stuff on your foot. It <laughs> Use it as a fly spot. Someone was asking how good are the mirrors? They're so useful. I think, look, we'll be honest here. Both you and I shunned them a bit at first. We could admit that, can't we? Yeah. But oh, actually, genuinely, probably the most useful thing we have on the bike. You need to have it in, be able to get it in the right place. Yeah. That's quite difficult. Once you've sort of trained yourself to look at it, it's amazing. Yeah. Really, I, really, the, really useful. I like the fact that we can clip it on and then it's gone. But the safety factor of it, being able to pop it out and move it around into a set position is fantastic. Bike pack and tip. What? When you stay at hotels, little sachets of stuff like this, jam, peanut butter, whatever it is, a little good little and I love peanut butter so it makes me go ooh makes you go what? Ooh, ooh.
round one, mate. You take your shoe off a lot. I have today. I do when I'm like, why, why aren't my legs working? And I think it's got to be something to do with my shoe. I think it's something to do with my legs. The thousand k that we've ridden, maybe. One thousand. After today, one thousand five hundred. Seven rides. Seven rides. Well, we the first week is hardest. First seven days. Who plan this? That's eh? What they say. Yeah, yeah. Soon I'll be home. Where the friends give hugs and the tracks don't skip like stones. Give a hand to my folks. Cause it takes all day. You're just eating peanut butter now. Desperate times, I guess. That's not a kilometre sign. What are we at? I don't know. 69, mate. <laughs> I rode past we it because I didn't fucking see it because of seeing squares. Seeing squares at that point. Seeing squares? Two of everything. We're quite tired of riding into this headwind now, but yesterday we were at this amount of K still to go and it was getting dark and it was raining, so it's not that bad. Pretty cool having that descent halfway through today as well. Broke things up a bit. This is a mega ride. Mega. Today and yesterday are the two hardest days. Just stop next to the kangaroo bones. A few days on. Check out that beautiful sunset. 30 kilometers to go. We don't need to shake. This is a fucking hug, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's even harder than yesterday. Mate. Why were you standing like a superhero as well? Because I am a superhero, I'm moustache man. What's your power? Stripping. Oh mate. <laughs> What's that? I've also got... Oh, just in case. If you want a tailwind, tomorrow... <laughs> <laughs> we better get prey. <laughs> what are you doing? Talk to the cows, mate. Come uh, me. Daisy. <laughs> wow, life. <laughs> 